Last lesson we looked at questions with binomial probability using this formula right here, but they all had the word exactly, so we just wanted that one scenario. On today's lesson we're going to look at at least and at most. Here's a question. When Joe bowls, he can get a strike 60% of the time. What is the probability Joe will get at least three strikes out of four tries? So an important part of this is the at least. At least means that's the minimum, so at the minimum we want three strikes out of four, but we could do anything better. So let's start with that. We're going to start with the C. We want three out of four tries. The probability is 60%, which I'm going to write as a decimal, 0 0.60, and then I use this number, the R, to raise it to that power, so raised to the third power. Next comes the Q, which is a prob uh, the, the probability of failure. So if there's a 60% chance of success, there would be a 40% chance of failure. And out of the four times we're trying, we wanted it to succeed three times, and that means it would fail once. Now this is where the at least comes in. We're going to have to also add on other possibilities that are at least this. So if that's the minimum, then it would also be good to get four out of four. So I'll set the rest up the same way, the 60% chance of success with this number going up here, four, and the 40% chance of failure. Well, if all four of them are successes, that would leave no failures and that is what I'm going to type in. We always stop at the one that's the same number on both sides. When I type it in, I start with the 4, math over to probability, down to the C, put in the second number, parentheses 0.60 raised to the third, parentheses 0.40 raised to the first, which you don't necessarily have to type in the first there, plus do the next 4, math over to probability, NCR, choose the 4, and the 0.60 raised to the fourth, and the 0.40 raised to the zero. And enter, and this is the probability that it could be three out of four, or four out of four, and that is 0.4752, or if we change that to a percent, that is 47.52% chance. So a little less than half uh, chance of that happening. Here's another possibility. Assume that in the U.S. one-fifth of all cars are red. What is the probability that when you pass six cars, at most two of them will be red? So now we have at most. So that means that's the maximum and we'd actually want to go down from there. So first let's start with the C and we want two out of six. The probability was one-fifth. We use this as the power on the first one, and so if one-fifth is successing, then four-fifths would be the failures. And out of the six, if two are successes, that leaves four to be the failures. At most, again, is the maximum, so that means then I'd want to work my way down, so I'd also be able to use the chance of getting one. One-fifth raised to that power, and if one is a success, that would leave five to be the failures. And then also, another possibility is that there would be none. So one-fifth raised to the zero, and four-fifths raised to the six. These numbers on top here always add up to six, and the one-fifth and the four-fifth are repeated throughout each one. We're going to type that in. Six math probability down to NCR, the two. One divided by five raised to the second. 4 divided by 5 raised to the 4th, plus 6, remember you always got to type that number in first, NCR to the 1, parentheses 1 fifth raised to the 1st, and 4 fifths raised to the 5th, plus 6, math over to probability, NCR, 0, 1 fifth raised to the 0, and four-fifths raised to the six. Enter. That has a .90112 chance. If I move that two places, that is a 90% chance. So that is extremely likely that when you pass six cars, 
at most, or the maximum, is that two of them will be read. So this was the probability that two of them, one of them, or zero of them would be read. And on this case, with the at most, we always stop when we get to the zero. So this is the one I would like you to try. Sarah notices that her bus is late one-third of the time. What is the probability that during a five-day school week that her bus will be late at least three times? So the key word there is at least three times out of the five-day school week, and it's a one-third chance that the bus is going to be late. So go ahead and try that yourself, and then click the link to see if you got it right.